If we go to the full map, this is the mess that I'm trying to comb through this morning, trying to get to some of the incidents that will definitely impact the most people, those main thoroughfares. If we go up north, this is a crash um, or that was originally reported as a crash, but it's actually an obstruction in the road on Beatty's Ford Road at Mount Holly Huntersville Road. There's actually an uh, alert from CMPD saying it is from a down tree, so road closure in the 800. 85th hundred block of Mount Honey Holly Huntersville Road due to a down tree. Please seek alternate route. So that is related to up here. So if we go a little bit over here, this is a crash that's actually popped up within the last hour. Center lane blocked on I-85 southbound at exit 46. That's Mallard Creek Church Road. It is causing stop and go traffic. So in the midst of all of these road blockages um, and down trees and power lines, we are seeing crashes, of course. So just be aware of that. This one's causing stop and go traffic on a highway and then an obstruction in the road at Sugar Creek Road at Mallard Creek Road. Um, that's another one there. As you can see with all this blue, this is more than just the rain that's indicated by green. It is ponding, so just be very careful out on the roads this morning. Going down south, a US um, 74 Independence Boulevard has a crash at Village Lake Drive. This is a crash that's been hanging around for a while. Um, you can see just clues based off of what's surrounding it that what could be causing uh, these crashes and these conditions this morning and then if we go all the way over here this is a new road blockage there's really so many out there can't keep up with them all but I'm trying to update at least the ones that have been popping up within the last 30 minutes to an hour this is Tyvola Road south between uh, West Boulevard and Old Steel Creek Road so um, specifically at Shady Lane so that is a road blockage on a main road there and then traffic lights not working at West Boulevard at Yorkmont Road so some of the big things we've been seeing on the map are crashes that have been popping up uh, most recently after seven o'clock, um, mostly road blockages that's been happening really all morning long and still happening um, because of the road conditions, but then crashes coming after that and then traffic lights not working. So just be aware of that this morning. Be very careful. Take your time. We're keeping up with this all as best as we can. But for now, I'll go ahead and send it back to the desk. Uh, While well, you're speaking, getting pictures, a huge tree down in my neighborhood about a block from my house. I think we're going to hear stories like that throughout the day. Yeah. Also got some new video we want to show you. Uh, we told you about that tree down at, at the plaza in Sugar Creek. Take a look at this. This gives you an idea of what we're talking about here. Our cameras were rolling as a driver went up into a yard to get around it. But take a look. This is a great example of, of what not oh to do. Um, be instead like a second driver who, who instead just turned around. I mean, folks, these are people's yards. I know. Um, I mean, and you don't know what's behind the tree either. You don't know what's behind the tree, and they're your neighbors um, as well. So, so be careful out there, and also, what's this car? Uh, do? Be courteous. This car turns around like okay. like it's probably the best idea for safety and other purposes.